know, our vaccine mandates are clearly working and, um, you know, we're going to have to introduce additional uh, mandates. I have no doubt about it. Um, this week, we did introduce um, a new mandate. So we said, for example, yes, that yes, um, all board right. members must be vaccinated. If you're not vaccinated, you cannot serve on any um, board for, uh, within the central government or for statutory organizations. And we expect full compliance unless they have, you know, some medical or maybe religious exemption. And I want to tell those who are seeking uh, religious um, exemptions. Mm -hmm. I was uh, just about to go there. Me too. Yeah. Oh, but, um, uh, claims, uh, you know, your request will not be on it. So uh, I recognize too, that the doctors have become a little more circumspect because uh, there is a form in which they have to sign a declaration. This is and that declaration comes with some consequences. So health officials are not simply allowing doctors to just give a a, a simple doctor's letter saying that uh, the person suffering from X, Y, Z and therefore cannot be vaccinated. They have to literally execute um, a declaration. And what, what is happening now, especially a particular one, somewhere down by market, I'm told, uh, who normally sign those things indiscriminately, I'm told mm -hmm. that he's now refusing to sign the declaration because he recognizes that he could get in trouble. Mm -hmm. So we're on to those who are trying to scheme the system, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, the, the reality is um, we will have to continue to enforce additional mandates to ensure that we get to, um, to herd immunity because you have people out there who are trying to, to scheme the system, uh, coming up with all kinds of reasons why they can't be vaccinated. And I don't know why they're going um, that route, you know, because, uh, you know, the vaccinations are really to protect them.